Hey everyone, I am back with another video. In this video, we will discuss about different profiles you can get as a fresher at TCS. If you are someone who is preparing for TCS, this video will help you a lot understanding what these different profiles are and what you should expect. We will talk about everything from pay, work expectation to early joining benefits. So stay tuned till the end. So first thing is entrance. How do you get into these profiles? So TCS hires through a single integrated test. So you need to appear for that test and based on your performance on that test, you will get interview calls for specific profiles. So based on your interview performance, you will get the offer letter and you will get your profile. So the highest paying profile is Prime, after that is Digital and after that is Ninja. In my opinion, the top 5% performers would get offer letters for Prime. The another 20% performers will get for Digital and the remaining 75% would get as Ninja. So this is in my opinion, approx figures. So let's discuss about pay. For the data from the official TCS site, the pay for Ninja is 3.36, so 3 lakhs approx, 3 lakhs per annum. And if you are postgraduate, then you will get slightly more. The pay for digital is 7 lakh per annum and the newly introduced Prime which was introduced recently in 2024 so Prime will have 9 LPA so there is quite bit difference about the packages so, so it's almost double for digital and it's almost triple for uh, Prime so it's better if you uh, study hard and prepare hard and uh, get the best profile now let's talk about ILP duration so for Ninja, ILP ranges from uh, 30 days to 45 days to also uh, almost 3 months. So it depends on the timing, the requirement. So like some of my friends have had ILP of 3 months, some of them have had of 45 days. So in this ILP program, you will be trained on Java or Python. There would be proper training sessions. You will be also trained on soft skills. And then after these training sessions, there will be some kind of uh, evaluation and then you will be allocated the projects. For digital, generally ILP ranges from one week to two weeks. So when I had ILP back in August 2024, I had just two weeks of ILP. So one week was all about formalities and second week was some soft skill uh, session. And after that, uh, third week onward, I was allocated on project. And for Prime, for Prime, ILP is of even less. So recently, one of my friends joined in Prime profile. So he had ILP of around one week. So just completed the basic formalities. And after that, from second week onward, he was assigned on project. So definitely as the pay differs, there will be ILP like training differences as TCS will need to pay uh, for this period. So for Ninja guys, there will be more training. So about joining, uh, the first preference for joining is given to prime profile candidates. So since like you graduate from college, you give your final exams, you get your result and immediately in a month or two, you will get joining. So digital candidates will also get similar kind of like early joinings. Even in one month or two months, you will get joining as a digital. But for Ninja profiles, it can depend. So some, some can get joining within three months, four months, uh, but even I have heard like many of my friends have also got joining after one year. So that can too happen. So if you are really excited to get into corporate and start working early, digital and prime profiles are best for you. So now talking about work, there will be no difference in what projects are assigned to you. So either you are ninja or digital or prime, it is not like Prime would get some high tech projects or Ninja would just get support support project. It all depends on the situation and the requirement TCS has at that moment. So suppose on that specific time when you are being allocated in a project, suppose TCS had some requirement in some kind of support project which has Python in it, you will be assigned to that project. It doesn't matter from which profile you are, be it Ninja or Digital or Prime, you can get allocated to any project. You don't have any choice over it. You can reject projects for once or twice if you don't want to work in that technology, but you can't do it repeatedly. After, after rejecting once or twice, you need to uh, get into a project. Work expectations. 
so definitely um, your manager or your supervisor would expect less from you as you are a ninja candidate so you will be given uh, more time as compared to digital or prime profile candidates more time for your training sessions for your kt you will like team or project will invest more on you in regarding like time you will be assigned work uh, somewhat later than digital candidates so that's definitely uh, a thing for ninja but for digital and prime you will you will as soon as you go on project your everything will start as soon as possible you will get your asset you will get uh, your training and in like shorter period and expectations will be more from you like you would be expected to know few things like uh, you will not be taught basics you will need to uh, you you are expected that you know uh, some kind of basic skills already like be it java be it python uh, be it like basic web development html css you are expected to know this already and you should just you will be just given the project kt and you are expected to start working on that so this is definitely a difference between ninja and prime or digital profiles which i have experienced uh, i was myself uh, from digital profile so i joined in the project and uh, like in one week i got the asset like another one week i got some basic kt not much deeper and after that uh, i was assigned work so you are expected to uh, learn from your seniors seek help from your seniors and complete the task but if you are a ninja candidate uh, definitely there will be some kind of uh, like managers or your supervisors will be a little bit easy on you so you will they, they will not set a lot of expectations of you so this is a difference which i have observed now let's talk about location preferences so be it ninja or be it digital or be it prime so you don't have really much choice over location even though before joining you will be asked about location preferences but it is not necessary that you will be given location as per your preference uh, tcs would give you any location as per the business requirements so in my case my first preference was pune but i got mumbai as location so even after getting location it is not confirm which office you will be working out of so since i got mumbai location uh, even after joining and even during ilp it was not sure which office i'll work out from like in mumbai there are different like 10 to 15 different offices so based on your allocation based on which project you get uh, you'll know which office you'll be working out from so this is a thing even if you are from ninja or prime or digital there there will be no difference in location preference or if you are a prime candidate then you will get your preferred location this is not the case you would have to work from any location also uh, you can be assigned on client location suppose there is a project of state bank of india so you would be assigned on sbi head office suppose there is a project of bse stock exchange so you will be assigned on uh, you will be assigned at the bse headquarters so this is also uh, this is also a possibility so don't expect that you will get to work out of whatever location uh, you want also tcs has a strictly 5 days work from office policy so you will have to work 5 days out of office so yeah that's the thing now let's talk about upgradation opportunities so tcs will offer you upgradation uh, opportunities before joining and even after joining so a ninja candidate can prepare himself and appear for the exam for a evaluation and then upgrade his or her profile to digital even digital guys can upgrade to innovator profile so tcs will offer you before joining you will get a opportunity you will get to give a exam and upgrade your profile also after joining yearly you will get two chances to appear for the exam and upgrade your profile so even if you start as a ninja you can go till the innovator so that is definitely a good thing from tcs so that was it if you have any specific queries you can comment down and i'll definitely try to reply so yeah keep learning keep growing let's meet in next video